Good evening, we're Numero Uno Consulting. We're going to share with you tonight the problem we've identified with crypto, some recommendations we have going forward, and risk mitigation, risk management strategies for the use and implement. We did our analysis of what's going on with crypto. One of the key things we saw it's a function of cost pressure, of quality issues, and also of the view that the public has of them as a corporate citizen as a function of all these drivers, which is leading to brand degradation, as you can see there. But that will ultimately lead to a loss of revenues for the company. Now, it's been said that harming individuals or a hurt customer is bad for business, but to a hurt ch child is even worse for business. And crypto's got to deal with this very quickly in order to go forward. It's got to make, make sure that it can restore some trust in its processes and in the consumer. So with that, we have proposed that crypto take a two-pronged approach, short-term and long-term. In the short term, we'd like crypto to focus on its audit process that it already has in place. It's been rather lax. That was one of the key things that was there earlier with quality. Crypto has been lax in enforcing its audit process. In fact, it's some of its key manufacturing partners it has not been auditing them as frequently as it should. And going forward, this is a huge liability for crypto, especially as lawsuits are, will likely come from its recall of over 8 million products. It's got to go ahead and address this now, at least to show some sincere penitence going forward. Now with that, we also, we have listed here punishment, as along with working with the two suppliers. Punishment is more, we're, along the lines of corrective, corrective action request. And with that, we expect to see some results from these two suppliers. But we, we realize that crypto has a part to play in that. And so cutting off um, the relationship with those suppliers is not a good idea at this time, especially since crypto was very lax in its enforcement. <clears throat> so this, the key thing here is making sure that we enforce these weekly audits and we also want to make sure as part of that we're going to have corporate wide a meeting every week with those auditors to monitor the process and to study what's going on and then make changes in the process going forward with that i'll turn it over to yash to discuss the long term thank you travis uh, once the current issues are taken care of we recommend implementing the following long term strategies uh, we know that the company has been lax in implementing the processes and complying with the processes. So we recommend that you ensure stringent process compliance. Uh, we also know that uh, out of 65% of the manufacturing is in China and 50% 50% of the expenses uh, goes to the raw materials. We also know that uh, even though vendors have been certified, uh, the suppliers are not following that. So we recommend centralizing the purchasing uh, so that we get cost benefits. Uh, and uh, even though the company has supply selection uh, metrics, they are not quantified. Uh, we recommend the following uh, weightages to the various metrics, and this is how uh, suppliers have to be uh, rated. Supplier performance evaluation metrics. Right now, the company does not have a supply performance evaluation metrics. We have developed a performance scorecard uh, where uh, different metrics are rated. This is how uh, the metrics are laid out. We have nine metrics, and uh, each metric is rated on a scale of one to five. Uh, for example, uh, in this, excuse me. For example, in this one, if the quality is, uh, the quality accuracy is the defect rate is less than 0.1 percent, then that particular supplier is, is given five points, and so on and so forth. Uh, we know that uh, because. The suppliers, because they outsource manufacturers, they are man manufacturing the non-core products. We encourage uh, you to outsource part of the core products manufacturing to the outsource vendors. This is kind of an incentive system you know, for the outsource manufacturers to comply with the process. Uh, not only that, this will also give an opportunity for the company to venture into the electronic uh, product uh, segment. Uh, from the case, we do not have any information whether uh, there is investment in ID infrastructure, whether we have any ID infrastructure in place. So we recommend the company to invest in ID infrastructure so that they can aggregate the volumes easily from various vendors and send out the purchase orders easily. Uh, with this, I hand it over to Hong. 
So based on the recommendations and solutions, we do this some um, forecast on the risks um, to um, try to mitigate the, the risks uh, when crypto is going to implement uh, our solutions. So based on the uh, short-term uh, solutions, we forecasted the risks in cost associated with increased auditing and also the resistance from the manufacturing partners. So uh, our risk management plan will be work with the good suppliers to ensure their flexibility and capacity in case any other suppliers do not want to uh, cooperate, with, cooperate with crypto uh, to uh, implement a lot of uh, auditing activities because which uh, the auditing activities will increase a lot of costs. And second one will internally crypto can grant the extrinsic reward to the auditors for those outstanding performance performers. Uh, in this way, uh, crypto can re uh, how to, uh, borrow those best practice practices in auditing for one. The second thing, uh, it also can um, reduce the cost by using the practice, uh, the best practice in, uh, in existence. Um, Based on the long-term risk, uh, risk the long-term, uh, long-term, uh, our recommendations, we did some forecast in the long-term risk risks. Uh, the first one will be the willingness of the suppliers to work with the crypto on supply management, and the second one will be internal resistance due to the man manufacturing structure shift between the non-core product to the core product, and the high learning curve due to all the changes. So based on this, we come up with a risk management plans, like first to provide training courses to all those employees to lower the learning curve. The second one will be to profit sharing for the efforts in cost reduction and technology innovation uh, cooperated by, or done by those suppliers. The third one will be focused on the long-term relationships with the suppliers by granting them uh, those high volume contract and the long-term contract. So uh, all, all in all, we think that the foremost thing crypto should do is to uh, enforce, enforce the CMP audits by using this detailed process. And the good thing for this process is to, uh, is to have a feedback for corrective, uh, corrective uh, uh, action plan to make sure future uh, improvements. So um, all in all, we, think we are very confident that by uh, adopting our uh, recommendations and solutions. Crypto will recruit, uh, recover its brand uh, damage and also recruit its uh, market share and profit uh, engagement in the future. Thank you.